Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you guys for watching my last one. I am so thankful for you guys that have all subscribed and liked my video and shared my video. Um, I wasn't sure like what to expect from my first one. Um, like I said, thank you guys for subscribing and um, liking my page. So I'll go ahead and get started and get started on this look I did for you today and I hope you guys all love it. Alright, so first things first, I'm going to be using the Varsali Rose Gold Elixir Oil for my primer. And I'm just going to put a few drops on my cheeks and then right on top. I'm just going to rub this in. Alright, so now I'm going to take my foundation. I am using a NARS um, All Day Luminous Weightless Foundation. I am in the shade Syracuse. My one of my brushes, foundation brushes, old. I don't even know what brand it is, but I kind of just get it all around my face. I always like to get my ears too, just so they match my face, because it always looks bad when you don't have. <laughs> Your foundation matching with your ears. I'm gonna take a few more pumps and I just like to get on my neck just so it all blends really nicely because I am tanning but I do look a little white. So, so I'm gonna take this brush from Huda Beauty and it's a face buff and blend brush and I just kind of take it and I run it over my whole face and it just kind of evens out all the foundation. Alright, so now I'm going to take my Tarte Shape Tape and I'm in the shade Light Medium. This stuff is my life. I usually conceal with this Every day, I go through so many, and I just like to put it under my eyes. I use a lot of it. And then I just like to um, start my highlight, so I put some on the side of my nose. And then I like to put some in the middle of my face, on my forehead, and I just bring it down to the middle. And then I also do my sides, but I'm actually going to wait for that. Um, I'm just going to take my beauty blender, um, get it wet a little bit, so I'm just going to spritz it with water. I'm just going to start blending that out. And this has such a good coverage. And my concealer in this video is so much lighter than that Morphe concealer I was using, but I like to use it as my highlight. So it definitely could tell the difference between my highlight and my concealer, but I definitely, like, I think that looks better on me. I like a lighter under eye. I like to see my highlights. So I'm just going to finish blending this out on both sides. Well, I'm going to be using my translucent powder by Laura Mercier again and the stuff I feel this is my favorite stuff like this is my go-to with my concealer I love the Tarte Shape Tape and then right after I put my translucent powder on and just before I put it on I always make sure like my eyes are blended right by the crease just so you're not getting a crease line and then I just take my powder I do like to um, put some concealer over my eyes and then powder that. I don't like the lines in between my eyes and sometimes that does affect the eyeshadow so I'm just going to run through with my wet beauty blender again and just kind of go run over my eyelid on both sides and then just take my one with a little bit of powder and just run through that just so it's setting it and it's not going to leave any creases. Alright, and now I'm going to take my concealer again, and I'm starting to like get my under eyes lighter, and I just like to take my concealer again and kind of go on the sides of my face, and take the wet beauty blender and kind of just start to blend this out. So I just finished up, I put my concealer on. I um, started to put my powder on so this can bake while I'm doing my eyebrows. So I do take um, just like a brown shade of eyeshadow and I start to just, I'm taking them um, smoked in the Tarte palette, one of the Tarte palettes. It's just a little bit of a darker brown. Um, I feel like it just matches my face better. And I just get a little bit on my brow pencil or my brow brush and I like to blend or start to get my shape ready. I am kind of crazy when I do my eyebrows because 
it's like I go back with concealer anyways to make them perfect so I kind of just do um, do my lines fill it in and then go back through with my concealer which I use the shape tape for that too so I am gonna start I do a straight line just to start to form my eyebrow on both sides And then I just go in from the top and follow the same. My, my, I follow my shape. I just kind of make it a little more um, longer then because I don't feel like you can see my tail, my eyebrow at all. So um, I'm going to go in on the top now and do the same thing. Pretty much follow line, do a straight line, and then curve it a little bit. Everyone asks me too, like, why I use the eyeshadow? Does it last long? I've been doing this for about two years and I've never had a problem with it coming off. It stays on pretty well. I also like to put like a brow gel over it, clear one or like um, a tinted one. And then... So this is what it looks like and then I just take the eyeshadow, take my brush and just kind of start to blend in the rest of that. And I think it looks pretty good. I get compliments on my eyebrows, so. But like I said, I go in between with the pomade too, but I just think the eyeshadow looks a little more natural. I'm gonna conceal my eyebrows off camera just because I can't see. Um, but pretty much this is the, it's the same thing. I just go and clean it up with my concealer. It's pretty easy. Um, and then I'm gonna be doing my eyeshadow, which I still don't know what I'm gonna be doing. All right, so I finally caved in and got the James Charles palette. I was thinking about doing my super dramatic Valentine's Day look and I felt like I didn't have a good red or a good pink or you know so I saw some reviews on it and I was like you know what I'm just gonna do it because I don't have a lot of these like brighter colors um, as you can see like they are pretty pretty bright I do like this pink down here I think I'm gonna use a lot of that and then this red right here I'm gonna be using um, I did try the pink one the other night and I didn't have any of my face on or concealer or anything. Um, I did watch some reviews, they said definitely put like a primer on, but I don't really like an eye primer. So I'm gonna see how that, how the pink shows up on my skin tone. Alright, so I am gonna start with the color You're Kidding Me. It's that very like bright red in the palette. I'm gonna start with this Jaclyn Hill um, JH33 brush. It's kind of just like a blending brush. A little bit thinner though so I can go um, and you know what, I'm actually going to start with the pink in here. So I am going to start and put this right in my crease. And I really feel like it kind of went on my lid a little bit, like the fallout. But that can also be just from blending. So I'm going to start with this right in my crease. I like to do both my eyes at one, like the same time because I feel like once I do my one eye, this eye never turns out. So I try to trying to do it at the same time so I'm still getting the same look on both eyes. But I do feel like, I mean it's pretty pigmented but definitely could use like a really um, white eye primer just maybe to show up a little Now I'm going to take my uh, Morphe brush from the gold, or the um, rose gold um, set they had. I didn't have a number. Um, I'm just going to go in and start to blend this a little bit more. So now when I go in with the red, I'm going to be using the Morphe Jaclyn Hill JH41 brush. Um, I'm going to take the red with this because it's going to help pack that red color right in between my, um, on my lid, not into my crease. So I'm going to try to keep it um, in between there. Hopefully it doesn't have too much like fallout. But I am definitely packing it. I'm not like brushing it, um, blending it, just like a packing motion. Right on my lid. Kind of bring that into the inner corner. Like that. I'm gonna do it the same. Same thing on the other eye. And then like 
um, since I started doing like more of a winged out eyeshadow, I do like to kind of take my the um, the red that I'm using and kind of just angle that with it. So I'm still kind of following along with that wing look. Um, it kind of helps guide me my blending brush that I'm using right now. And then I'm kind of just going to go right on top of where the red and the pink are meeting and still doing those um, circle motions. So I did finish off blending. I'm just going to take a brush really quick and kind of um, start to take out some of that powder that was baking on my face. And this is when I do like to make sure my, um, this brush like makes a really good line right at my eyeshadow. And having that extra um, powder from baking will help create a better uh, line right there. So I'm going to kind of just go ahead and do that because I am going to do my under eye eyeshadow before I see what I want to do with that gold. And then I'm going to go ahead and brush the excess powder off. Taking another brush from the Morphe Jaclyn Hill, it's um, 39 and it's great for like underneath your eyes. I'm going to take the red again and um, you got to be careful though with under eyes because a lot of people are like, oh, like I get a lot of fallout, um, which obviously you're going to because of the way like you're brushing underneath your eye, but if you take a smaller brush, even um, like something a little bit thinner and just like, like you're going to want to do a little bit at a time instead of like going right away because that's what's going to create a lot of that fallout. So I just like to take, so I'm going to get some on my brush, and I do like to get a lot because if you're doing a little bit, you want to get that pigment out still. So I'm going to start um, right here in my corner and just do like a little at a time. And I also like to take my under eye and connect with my wing, and I go back and blend that out too. And I'm going to do the same thing on this eye. So my eyes, I say, would be finished. I think I am going to add like a little bit of gold in like my inner corner just to kind of make it a little more fun. All right, so for my bronzer today, I am taking the Too Faced, um, I don't even know what it is, chocolate um, bronzer. This is like my life. I do like to use the Benefit bronzer too, but this I feel like is it has like you can cover so much with it. So I'm just taking an angled brush. This is um, a brush from Crown Brush, and everyone says to blend up, but since I start a little bit higher on my face, I can kind of blend just like normal, I guess. Not having to make sure I'm blending up. But I also like to take this and scoot in my like in the inner like of my face because that's allowing my face to look a little bit thinner. And I also put on my forehead. Um, I kind of just follow my normal like shape my head. I don't like overly bronze because if not, I feel like my forehead looks too small. And then for my nose, like I will use the cream contour just because um, it is hard sometimes to get like a really clean line with powder. So I'm just gonna take the same angle brush and I kind of just do it pretty quick. And I just, um, I'm like on my nose and pushing away from it with my brush. That way I'm creating a line. And then I do the opposite, like I go this way with it. I'm gonna take my Beauty Blenders. Um, the white one I feel like you gotta be careful with because sometimes it can take off some of the um, foundation that's on. So I'm just gonna dab it really quickly. And then like, I don't know if you can see now, but it's starting to lighten up already. And I do the same thing, but lower. And then I'm gonna take the other Beauty Blender that was um, with the powder. And I'm just gonna start taking this and do a straight line. Right there, like you can see right there. I mean, it's a little dramatic, but I blend it out, so I do that. Make sure it's starting to look even. So I always, this is my go-to thing. I found this brand at Ulta. It's like a little section in Ulta by where I am. So I don't know if there's bigger sections in other Ulta's, but um, it's called Beauty Bakery, and they have like all these cute little products. Um, and I use this one. It's a little bit bronzier, and I use this for. Um, my contour also and it gives it a little bit of bronziness to the face. I obsess over this stuff. Like I need it every day. Can I see that? Take some on this side. Kind of patting it. And, like you can already see how much that's contoured my face. Can't believe I almost forgot. So I'm just gonna take some of this and I like to bring it up and then I can, like really do really big circles on my cheekbones. Um both sides. 
If you like really want your highlight to show up, I like to um, spray my face with like a setting um, spray or mist or whatever. So I'm going to be using the Morphe um, setting mist or like I like to use the um, Fix Plus by MAC too. That's really good too. Um, so I'm just going to spray my face before I do my highlight. Alright, so once I spray my face, I'm going to take my palette, now the Becca palette. I like to just use my hand sometimes um, just so I can place it where I want it. So I'm going to put some right here on my cheek and kind of just start to let that blend out. Um, I like to use just like a little, um, it's like a shadow brush I guess, but I use it for highlight. I use anything for highlight. Um, this is just a Sephora brush. I'm just going to dab some of that in that same lighter colored um, highlight. And then I like to just do it on the top of my nose a little bit. And obviously highlight you're going to put on the highest points of your face, which is your nose, your cheekbones, um, by your brow bone. Um, you can put it on your cupid's bow, which I always do. Do my cupid's bow. So I like to draw one, one line and then this line. And then I just in between go back and forth. You can use like a small like fan brush or something, but I feel like this has more of a coverage. And then I like to go around my lip a little bit. Now I think I'm going to take um, the Stila Glitter um, Metallic Metals Glitter and Glow Liquid Eyeshadow. This stuff, I like all, I like all of Stila stuff. Um, I think it's really good quality. So I'm just going to take some on the end of this. Take a little, um, just like a flat um, brush. Something little like you do in your inner corner. I'm actually going to take something smaller just because I don't know how it's going to turn out. Here. And I'm barely going to, like, I'm going to just dab it on the inner corner. All right, so my camera just died, so I just went ahead and finished this um, eye. So uh, I kind of like it. I think it'll look better when I have lashes on. Um, just to kind of glam it up a little bit, I just added some of this, the sparkle to the inner corner. Um, I tried to, like, blend it out a little bit. It looks a little heavy, so I'm going to put my lashes on see how it looks. And then kind of go from there. Um, I probably will, you know, I will add a little bit um, of a, I'm going to do the Kylie Kai liner. Um, it's just a black liner. I love her liners. And I'm just going to do it in the inner, or like my waterline. I'm, I'm obsessed with doing it on my waterline. You take your um, liner and you put it on your waterline on the top of your eye. So not like where you normally put like a wing liner or whatever, you're going to do it on the inside of your eye. So it feels really weird, but I think it just like makes the look. Um, so I always go ahead and do that. I'm so used to it now, but it was weird when I first started doing it. But I think it just helps close up the eye. Like, I don't know if you can tell the difference, but I can tell it. Next, I'm going to put my lashes on. I am going to be using um, Lily Lashes and this these are Mykonos. I obsess over these two. It's like, I need these. Um, so I'm going to put my lashes off, on off camera. Right, so I have my lashes on and I think it helps the look a lot. I've been loving the um, Milk Mascara and I think it's great for falsies. And I always put my um, big lashes on first and then I go back in and do my mascara. So this is what it looks like. It's my Milk Makeup. I'm just going to go ahead and apply this. doing my lip next and I have these like super cute mini lipsticks from um, Kylie's uh, winter collection and I think they're super cute but I haven't even tried this pink one but I don't know if I'm feeling the pink because I have so much pink going on and I also have two red lipsticks I'm not a huge red lipstick fan but I've been with these two uh, this one's got a little more shimmer in it and this one's more like a bright red so I think I am gonna do the bright red today um, I don't think I ever need a lip pencil with my Kylie lipsticks. Um, she, like obviously if you get a lip kit, you're gonna get the um, pencil with it, um, or the liner, and obviously use it, cause why not? But I think it's, um, I didn't get one with this lip kit, or this lip collection, and I don't really think I even need it. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and do my lips. I think I might add a little bit of like sparkle to this. We'll see. Maybe add a little bit of the shimmer. All right, I think that helped my lips a little bit. And I, like I said, I am using the Kylie Jenner um, 
the winter collection and this the first one I put on was um, called December it's a matte lipstick and I just put on um, naughty is a new nice um, and that was like a little bit of a shimmer all right so this is my final look today I I do like it I think my eyeshadow could have been a little bit um, brighter but like I said I think um, using a wider primer underneath would be great um, I love the lipstick I think it's super cute for Valentine's Day um, I know this is probably not a look that a lot of you guys would do for Valentine's Day but I just liked the colors I got to use the pink and the red I don't get to use a lot of those brighter colors thank you guys for subscribing and watching my video and I hope to see you guys on my next video thank you